Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda 
did the tyaga of sitting with utmost sincerity and ferociousness with himself and manifesting this ultimate spiritual breakthrough. Paramashiva has come down to planet Earth and manifested this grand leela of his life for each and every one of us to be part. His Divine Holiness has taken this physical form to and come down from Kailasha itself. Now that His Divine Holiness is here, we can celebrate His happening on planet Earth and spread the message of Sri Kailasha. We invite all the viewers to share this link with all on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. There are innumerable reasons why His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Paramashivam, happened on planet Earth. He happened to cause the next evolutionary breakthrough for life on Earth. He happened to cause the Satya Yuga once again. He happened for the fulfillment of consciousness itself. He happened for the entire humanity and he happened exclusively for you at the same time. Ultimately, however, in words that cannot quite be summarized either by himself or his devotees, the true reason behind the happening of his divine holiness is nothing but pure compassion. This realization will happen in you after reading and listening the full life story of his divine holiness, all of his gifts for humanity and his sacrifices. You will journey through all the years that his feet graced the planet Earth and you will learn the greatest of his lessons and your aspirations for life itself will mature. You yourself will have the realization that brings tears to your eyes and ultimate surrender into your mind. The avatar of Paramashiva happened on planet Earth just to ensure we realize we are also Paramashiva. Today, during the Uttamottama Seva, we offer to Nityanandeshwari Parashakti, Nityanandeshwara Paramashiva, and the, His Divine Holiness. The Uttamottama Seva is a Vedic ritual straight from the source, from the Agamas. Uttamottama means the best of the best, and seva is offering. It is a ritual of offering the best of the best to Parmashiva. Whatever we offer to Parmashiva comes back to us in thousandfold, many millionfold. And Parmashiva is the source of everything, be it grains, or knowledge, or skills, or people, everything. Offering the best of the best is the way we can offer our gratitude to Paramashiva and being integrated to him and his words. Agamas is the only thing we can actually offer him. Hence, as for the instructions of Paramashiva in the physical form of Satchala Murti, the avatar, his divine holiness, Nityananda Paramashiva, we offer this seva to Nityanandeshwara Paramashiva, the presiding deity of Nityananda Sangha. Uttamottama seva is an intricate ritual that is described by Paramashiva himself. So many offerings are there that come down from the best of the best that is offered in Vedic tradition. From the instruments to the offering of food that should be offered to Paramashiva the various types of dance and the way it is danced. The Uttamottam Seva is described by Paramashiva as the best of the best. Why should we offer the best of the best to Paramashiva? He lives in Adi Kailar Sarvajna Pita, the Bangalore Adhinam, as the Kalpa Vriksha, as the one who gives whatever you ask for. We offer Abhishekam, Vastram, Gandham, Abharanam, Archanam, Dhupam, Deepam, Naivedyam, Aratrikam, Deepopacharam, Pushpanjalim, Chaturvedam, Krishasuktam, Agamasotram, Ravidavedam, Nirtyam, Sangeetam, 
vadyam swasti vachana the source of all these best things is parama shiva and he has given to all these things to us offering them back at his feet is what we do during this seva whereby we experience intense shakti nipata and advaita the oneness with him and as a result we leave the state and radiate the space and manifest shaktis of parama shiva and also since it is agama vidhi parama shiva's instructions we offer them during this seva the best of food offered as naivedyam the best of movement a body can make offered as dance nitya seva the best of sound offered as music sangeeta seva and the best of consciousness offered as power manifestation shakti avishkarana the best that humanity can offer to parama shiva as gratitude is offered in uttamottama seva today during this uttamottama seva to parama shiva we will explore more on the autobiography of the avatar we do not know how many pulls we have struggled are prayed to have a master we are not even aware of our own true yearning a master happening in our life is not a joke we ourselves do not know how many pulls we have struggled and prayed intensely to have a glimpse of a living master his divine holiness beautifully shares in his own words that my life is not an individual's history the science of crores of vedic dharmas incarnations and rishis has been realized once again in me if you understand my biology you will understand that enlightenment science we cannot understand an enlightened being biography without having enlightenment the reason why swami ji says in his own words i am narrating my biography along with this is enlightenment will also flower in you so understand this enlightening truth deeply first we should understand for human being such as you and i our life stories are written after we die but for the avatars the script is written and the avatars comes down and then it is enacted listening to the experiences of his divine holiness is literally an initiation the seed of possibility for that experience to happen in you in each one of us is bestowed and blessed on us we must understand that the ultimate truth of his divine holiness life is that from the very beginning he is the ultimate consciousness and has been expressing parashiva from the beginning never once he came down from that space just for the sake of our transformation his divine holiness shares the experiences in his life so that our whole biology can catch what he's saying and what he experienced and reflect that very experience in our space when we listen to that experience we have the opportunity to raise ourselves that minute to the higher consciousness having this in our inner space let us understand about the life of the avatar today we will explore the guru disciple relationship and where his divine holiness cherished with his guru arunagiri yogeshwara in the vedic tradition the spiritual teacher the guru or the master is said to be more important than god god is always and everywhere but it is the guru who opened the disciples eyes to the existence of god the guru is the doorway to one's own experience of the divine he is the mirror that helps you recognize the truth that is already within you in fact the guru is the only scripture that is alive surrendering to god is difficult because you do not know who or where god is god is a mere concept in you but the master is real through his form 
you can take a quantum jump to the divine. Life itself can be your master. If you have the intelligence to pick up the right things from it, life itself can be a wonderful teacher. If you know how to learn from it, if you can hear with utter clarity the voice of your own being, you don't need external master. You don't have to surrender to anyone outside. Just surrender to your own higher consciousness. That is enough. Recognizing the guru to one's own highest self is the most beautiful experience that happens with enlightenment. Then why have a guru in our life? The last bliss, the ultimate bliss, the final bliss you experience is the space of being a disciple. Enjoy it now itself. Do not miss it. You may lose it after enlightenment. His Divine Holiness says in his own words, you will really, really miss the guru-disciple relationship. Even after enlightenment, it is a joy to be sitting and just melting and listening to some words and missing some words and heart melting, eyes pouring, muscles melting like ice cream. The throat choking, hair stranding on one end, body losing its feeling of being possessed by ego. Sitting simply and listening. The readiness, it is not a joke. Among the billions of people on the planet Earth, blessed are those who have the readiness to listen to their heart, in their heart. His Divine Holiness shares, I am not even saying that you should listen to me and all that. I am not even saying, be my disciple. I am just saying, being a disciple, being a receiver is a joy. Even if you are the disciple of an ordinary stone or a tree, it is okay. It's a joy of receptivity, receiving. When it is experienced in your biomemory, the body loses the feeling of being possessed. The body loses being possessed by the own ego. All the time, we feel our body is possessed by our ego. When our ego possesses our body, our whole body will be stressed, heavy. But when we really sit and melt, the very idea of being possessed by ego disappears and dissolves. Finally, let's say, Let's watch a video in Swamiji's own words. Swamiji responds to a question. How a guru um, defining a GPS, guru pointing system. Let's watch a small clip in his own words. How Swamiji responding to a disciple question. Swamiji, what is the role of uh, gurus in our lives and in Sanatana Dharma? What is the role of the guru? Just Why can't all of us become gurus? <laughs> <laughs> Except we won't have followers. <laughs> now I tell you, ah. making yourself as a follower for you is the first job of guru. <laughs> making yourself? Making yourself as your follower ah. is the first job of guru. Only who made himself as his follower can be a guru to make others follow him. Because nobody is a fool. Everybody goes to the depth and analyzes guru. Actually, they analyze guru hundred times more than they can analyze themselves. <laughs> no, I tell people. Because See, there are only... hundreds <laughs> of people seeing the guru. Right? Nobody See, is seeing them. Only when they analyze them, they use uh -huh. two eyes or lesser. When they analyze Guru, they use thousand eyes. Yes, there are thousand eyes. And basically, I am telling you, Guru is the most scrutinized person. 
purpose if you do not have a blind spot you can be guru of you and if you are able to help others to find their blind spot you can be guru of them oh basically the job of the guru is nothing but helping every individual to manifest their ultimate reality and a guru is needed i should say without guru also you can manifest which takes few thousand births and deaths <laughs> see without can you say without gps can i reach america you can it takes a long time sometimes you may not even may not even may not even make it so gps guru positioning system <laughs> <laughs> makes journey easy joyful and certain a certain kind of a certainty because see when you see somebody swimming beyond logic you are convinced you can swim when he can swim why not me then you start taking the steps for it so surely gps helps <laughs> makes it easy <laughs> says that in his childhood he has seen at least 50 people in arunachala amazingly declaring yogic powers through extraordinary lifestyles living the powers of parama shiva radiating the powers of parama shiva he says i have seen the masters who were so visibly directly shamelessly declaring the powers of parama shiva that is the right word i will use shamelessly declare the powers of parameshwar they were so joyful ecstatic ecstatic all the time come what may in life they were just out of this world his divine holiness never saw suffering or disturbance in their faces even though they lived in utter poverty which is a chosen consciousness choice by them they just feel that they do not need anything they they were so much fulfillment in their inner space when remembering those enlightened beings his divine holiness says i really feel that without those 50 people humanity is so poor it does not know the possibilities it does not have any more living examples he says continue to narrate in his own words i am not even talking about ramana maharshi's generation by living as an example the things yogi ramasuru kumar used to teach surakai swami mauna swami annamali swami tinnai swami sadhu om Mata Ji, Vibhuta Nanda Puri, Isakki Swami, Raghupati Yogi, all of them were living just 30 years ago. Today, His Divine Holiness has made a commitment and taken the responsibility that He will create at least few hundred people who will manifest the same state and offer it like a garland for Arunachala. Guru is such a fundamental part of our lives and every living being deserves and discovers this beautiful aspect of Hindu tradition. And I would like to introduce, if you would like to experience this relationship of Guru-disciple, I would encourage to participate in the program. Register for paramashivoham.org. You can visit www. paramashivoham.org it's a 16 day 16 hour program where you experience the consciousness breakthrough so i would recommend all the viewers to go ahead and register paramashivoham.org/join 
as we all gather for this uttamottama seva today and offering this ultimate ritual uttamottama let us understand the sanatana hindu dharma a little uh, with a deeper understanding sanatana dharma has the the big core principle of sanatana hindu dharma is guru disciple relationship the 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 that is why the way temples to this day host the chanting of the ram charitra conduct plays featuring the history of incarnation who have happened over the ages through the unique idea of spilled guru arunagiri yogeshwara the avatar recreates the magical experience of the guru disciple relationship for millions of his own disciples kindling in them the the earning to discover the same sweet space of disciplehood and the bliss of advaita the darshan of arunagiri yogeshwara that nine and a half months period during the life of the avatar was perhaps the most pivotal nine and a half months in his childhood swami ji narrates in his own words it was my fantasy of a guru disciple relationship he says that i manifested in turiya state and lived he continues a normal person will fantasize in the sopna state the dream state as an incarnation my fantasies happen in the turiya state we will explore more on his relationship with arunagiri yogeshwara in the further uttamottam seva introductions today we are offering the uttamottam seva to his divine holiness our beloved swami ji the seva is offered by our gurukul balasans as a gratitude at the feet of the his divine holiness with eternal gratitude at his feet we welcome all of you stay tuned and take part and enjoy this blissful offering of this seva at the feet of his divine holiness and get the blessings of his divine holiness nityanandam i bless you all let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of mahasada shiva om nityananda paramashivam Swamiji, what is the role of uh, gurus in our lives and in Sanatana Dharma? What is the role of the guru? Just Why can't all of us become gurus? <laughs> <laughs> Except we won't have followers. <laughs> Now I tell you, ah. making yourself as a follower for you is the first job of guru. <laughs> making yourself? Making yourself as your follower ah. is the first job of guru. only who made himself as his follower can be a guru to make others follow him because 
nobody is a fool everybody goes to the depth and analyzes guru actually they analyze guru 100 times more than they can analyze themselves <laughs> no i tell people because See, there are only, hundreds of people seeing the guru right nobody See, seeing them only when they analyze them they use uh-huh. two eyes or lesser when they analyze guru they use thousand eyes yes the thousand eyes and basically i'm telling you guru is the most scrutinized person first if you do not have a blind spot you can be guru of you and if you are able to help others to find their blind spot you can be guru of them oh basically the job of the guru is nothing but helping every individual to manifest their ultimate reality and a guru is needed i should say without guru also you can manifest which takes few thousand births and deaths <laughs> see without can you say without gps can i reach america you can it takes a long time sometimes you may not even may not even may not even make it so gps guru positioning system <laughs> <laughs> makes journey easy joyful and certain a certain kind of a certainty because see when you see somebody swimming beyond logic you are convinced you can swim when he can swim why not me then you start taking the steps for it so surely gps helps <laughs> makes it easy <laughs> you all let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of mahasada shiva om nityananda parama shivo
you all let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of mahasada shiva om nitya ananda the next offering of the uttamottam seva at the feet of devi nityanandeshwari parashakti sameta shri nityanandeshwara paramashiva is the offering of the stotra seva deva devo uttam devata sarva bhoma akhilanda koti brahmanda nayaka श्री नित्यानंदेश्वरी पराशक्ति समेता श्री नित्यानंदेश्वर परम शिव स्त्रोत्रोत्रवधार ओं नमो भगवते सदाशिवाय सकल तत्वात्मकाय सर्वंत्रूपाय सर्वंत्राधिष्ठिताय सर्वतंत्रूपाय सर्वतत्विदूराय ब्रह्म रुद्रावतारिणे नीलकंठा पार्वती मनोहराय सोम सूर्यालोदनाय भस्मोदूलित विग्रहाय महामि मुकुटधारणाय मणिक्यभूषणा दृष्टिस्थिति प्रलय काल रौद्रावताय दक्षाध्वरध्वंसकाय महाकाल भेदनाय मूलाधारैकनलयाय सत्वातीताय गंगाधराय सर्वेवादिदेवाय षाश्रियाय वेदाताय त्रिवर्गतादनाय अनंतकोटि ब्रह्मांड नायकाय अनंतवासुकीतकोटकशंकुलिक पद्म महापद्मे की अष्ट महानागकुलभूषणाय प्रणवस्वूपाय चिदाकाशाय आकाशदिस्वूपाय ग्रहण क्षत्रिने सकलाय कलंकताय सकलोकर्त्रे सकलोकद्रे सकलोकद्रे सकलोकुरव सकलोकक्षिणे सकल निगम घुषा सकल वेदाताय सकलोकर प्रदाय सकलोकय शशाकशेखराय शाश्वत निजावासाय निराभासाय निरामयाय निर्मलाय निर्मदाय निश्चिताय निरहंकाराय निरंकुशाय निस्कलंकाय निर्गुनाय निष्काय निरुप्लवाय निरुपद्रवाय निरवध्याय निरंतराय निष्कारय निरंतकाय निष्क 
प्रपंचा निस्तंगा निर्द्वन्वाय निराधाराया निरागाय विश्रोदाय निर्लोपाय निपापाय निर्भयाय निर्विकल्पाय निर्भेदाय स्त्रियाय विस्तुलाय निशंशयाय निरुपम विभवाय निशुद्धबुद्ध परिपूर्ण सच्चिदानंदाद्वयाय परम शांतस्वूपाय तेजो रूपाय तेजोमयाय जय जय रुद्र महारौद्र भद्रावतार महाभैरव कालभैरव कल्पातभैरव कपालमालाधर हवांग हर्म पाशाकुश दमु शूल चाप बान गदाशक्ति भिंडीपाल तोमर मुतल मुस्कर पाश परिघ कुशुंडी चक्ति चक्राध्या युध भीषण कर सहस्रमुख दंत्राकाल वन विकटाट्टहास विस्फारित ब्रह्मांड मंडल नागेन्द्र कुंडल नागेन्द्र हार नागेन्द्र वलय नागेन्द्र निकेतन मृत्युंजय त्रयंबक विश्वूप विरूपाक्ष विश्वेश्वर विषभवाहन विश्वभूषण विस्तर मुख सर्वतरक्षरक्षमा ज्वलज्वल महामृत्युम प्रमृत्यु भय नाशय नाशय चोर भय उत्ताद उत्ताद विषसर्प भय समय समय चोरान्य मारय मम शत्रून उत्थाटय उत्थाटय त्रिशूल विधारय विधारय उठारेण भिन्नि भिन्नि खड्डेन छिन्नि छिन्नि हट्वांगेन विकोधय विकोधय उतलेन निस्पेशय निस्पेशय बानै संताडय संताटय रक्षांसी भीषय भीषय भूतानि विद्रावय विद्रावय कूष्मांड मारीच वेताल ब्रह्मराक्षसगणान संताटय संताटय मां अभयं कुरु कुरु आश्वासय आश्वासय नरक उद्धर उद्धर संजीवय संजीवय शुद्रुभ्याय आप्याय दुखा दुरमा आनंदय आनंदय शिव कवचे नमा आच्छाटय आच्छाटय मृत्युंजय स्वयंक सदा शिव परम शिव नमस्ते नमस्ते द्राविड़ेदारय
The next off. The next offering of the Uttamatta Matheva. I can see it of the Vinitian and Jeshari Parashi, the Meta, Shinitian and Jeshari Paramashiva, is the offering of the Sangeeta Seva. Deva Devo, Tama Deva Das, Sarva Bhoma, Akhila and the Gotti Brahma and the Nayaka, Vinitian and Jeshari Parashi, the Meta, Vinitian and Jeshari Paramashiva. Sangi the Priya Sangi the Mavadhara. In today's Sangi the Seva, we'll be offering a bhajan on a beloved Guru, describing how a Guru transforms a devotee, devotee's heart, into a temple and how he instills in his disciples the feeling of devotion for the divine. Vishwaka, who is that? Vidyananda Bhagavan. 
ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव 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 गुरु हमारे धन मन तगे गुरु हमारे प्राण तार विश्व का वो है जात नित्यानंद भगवान तार विश्व का वो है जात नित्यानंद भगवान ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव गुरु हमारे धन दौलत में गुरु हमारे प्राण तार विश्व का वो है दाता नित्यानंद भगवान तार विश्व का वो है दाता नित्यानंद भगवान ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव ओम गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव I bless you all. Let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of Mahasuda Shiva. Om Nitya. शिवोहम ओ नित्यानंद परम शिवोहम ओ नित्यानंद परम शिवोहम ओ नित्यानंद परम शिवो
how a guru is the one who guides us to our highest goal by giving the purest knowledge and supporting us in all ways here you will see a small dance presentation which said which describes who a guru is and his duty <laughs> Ram 
Nityanandam. I welcome all of you, my loves and respects, to today's Parameshiva Shakti Avishkarana. I am Manikya Yoga Pranananda, and along with me here, I have Manikya Kaladara. Ma Kaladara, would you like to introduce yourself? Nityanandam, my name is Manikya Kaladara. I will be studying with the Parameshiva Yes, and we also have along with us here our volunteer. Ma, would you like to introduce yourself? So we will just be translating of Parikumi also. She told that her name is Manati Parikumi and that she has been a volunteer here uh, in Mumbai and that she has seen Swami Ji. Again, with a small introduction about the first of all, Paramashiva. Paramashiva is the primordial divinity, the ultimate reality and cause, which is self appellative, Swayam Prakasha, all pervading, unchanging beyond time, space, form, and causality. Today, an incarnation of Paramashiva walks among us in the form of the supreme pontiff of Hinduism, Jagat Guru Mahasanthidanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Sitya and the Paramashiva. Initiating millions of disciples into the science of power manifestation through a touch, look, or initiation. The Ikshan is the direct transfer of spiritual energy from the avatar himself to the disciple. The knowledge and science of manifesting the Vedagama truth are transmitted through Diksha or initiation. His Divine Holiness has initiated millions into the science of awakening the third eye. Agnya or third eye is the command center for the being to connect to their highest consciousness state, the divinity Paramashiva himself. Through this communication, the human ability expands and expresses in the form of dealing with eyes, enhancing intuition, increase IQ, and much more. And today we are not just going to be demonstrating or expressing a Shakti view. But we are also going to be understanding how the Shakti is just a natural happening. Now, let us move on to the power which you will be witnessing today. Today, you will be witnessing the power of body scanning out of the extra, all the extraordinary 450 plus powers that Swamiji has initiated us. In this power, our volunteer is going to be connecting to Swamiji and scanning our volunteer's body and telling any problem. Let it be external or internal, big or small. She will be scanning and revealing and giving a solution to her third. With this, let us move on to the Shakta Pramana, which is the direct revelation of Paramashiva himself in the Vedas. The Shastra Pramana, for the power of body scanning, comes from the Vigyana Bhairava Tantra, Sutra 47, Dharana 24. Sarvam dehagatam dravyam, viyavyaptam rigekshane, vibhavayeta tasyasya, bhavana sasthira bhavet. Sarvam dehagatam dravyam, viyavyaptam rigekshane, vibhavayeta tasyasya, bhavana sasthira bhavet. Sarvam dehagatam dravyam, Vyavyaptam brigekshane, Vibhavayeta tasyasya, Bhavana sasira bhavet. Let us all cognize the meaning. Paramashiva says, O gazelite one, one should cognize that the constituents or the matter existing in the whole body, such as bone, flesh, etc., as being pervaded and saturated with cosmic consciousness, Paramashiva, having as it came thus, this awareness and cognition of oneness with Parameshiva will become firmly established and manifest through the body. Now, Manjri Kalajananda is going to begin the power manifestation by connecting with Parameshiva by chanting the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Parameshiva, which is the passport which takes us to a higher nature Continuously remind us that we are Paramashiva. Let us all also sit with the head, neck, and spine in a straight line, 
ਮੈਂ ਤਨਹਾ ਵਾਕਿਆ ਓ ਨਿਤਿਆਨੰਦ ਪਰਮ ਜੀਵੋ ਹੈ ਓਂ ਨਿਤਿਆਨੰਦ ਪਰਮ ਜੀਵੋ ਹੈ ਓਂ ਨਿਤਿਆਨੰਦ ਪਰਮ ਜੀਵੋ ਹੈ so authenticate the whole experience we are providing you with the after pramana which are the experiences which are time tested full proof and authentic and verified by vedic sheet and sign let us move on to the after pramana so the after pramana for the power of body scanning comes from the life of shushruta Shishtha, trained in physician and surgeon of ancient India, is known for his pi- pioneering surgical techniques and the influential treatise Shishtha Samhita, which forms the foundation even for modern day surgery and for Ayurvedic medicine. Shishtha me- mentions that much of what he practiced was directly revealed to him by Dhanvantari, the Hindu god of Ayurveda and medicine. body so the solution which parmashiva had has revealed is that you should drink a cup of water mixed with basma morning and night twice a day and put chandan on your forehead uh, uh, twice a day when you take the, when you drink basma basma water and you should eat three leaves of tulasi every day and you request my kalaga to share the same thing so பரமசிவா என்ன ரிவீல் பண்ணாங்கன்னா இப்ப வந்து உங்களுக்கு சீக்கிரமா வலிக்குது அது அதுதான் பரமசிவா காமிச்சாரு அதுக்கு சொல்யூஷன் வந்து ரெண்டு வாட்டி டேல ஒரு கப் பஸ்மா வாட்டர் குடிக்கணும் அது குடிக்கும் போது சந்திரனும் ரெண்டு வாட்டி டேல போடணும் அப்புறம் துளசி மூணு லீஸ் சாப்பிடணும் என்னோட பாடி அதிக ஹீட் அவங்க சொன்னது அது கரெக்டு கேஸ் ஃபார்ம் ஆகுது அது டைஜஷன் ப்ராப்ளம்னா என்ன தெரியல கேஸ் இப்ப இவங்க சொன்ன மாதிரி பஸ்மாவையும் குடிக்கிறேன் ரெண்டு தடவை இனிமே குடிச்சு பாக்குறேன் நெத்திலையும் சந்தனம் தேய்ச்சி பா வைக்கிறேன் அது போறதுக்கு இப்போ சனாதன தர்மத்தை பொறுத்த மட்டுக்கும் என்னன்னா ஆஹ் பவர்ஸ மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் பண்றதுக்கு அந்த ஆழமான தூத்த நம்ம வந்து காக்னைஸ் பண்ணாலே நம்ம அடுத்த அடுத்த கணமே வந்து நம்ம பவர்ஸ் மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் பண்ணலாம்னு சுவாமிஜி சொல்றது வந்து நூத்துக்கு நூறு சரி 
மத்த எல்லாமே நம்ம வந்து சாதனை பண்ணணும் அதெல்லாம் கிடையாது நம்ம வந்து ஆழமான அந்த புரிதல் புரிய அந்த சத்தியத்தை புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டாலே உடனடியாவே அந்த பவர்ஸ் நமக்கு இருந்து மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் ஆகுதுன்னு சாமி சொல்றாங்க இல்லையா அதை நான் உங்ககிட்ட நான் பாக்குறேன் பாலசன்ஸ் எல்லாரும் அது சுவாமிஜி சொல்றத அப்படியே கார்கனைஸ் பண்ணி அந்த பவர்ஸ் நீங்க எல்லாரும் மேனிஃபெஸ்டிங் பண்றீங்க நாங்க பெரியவங்களும் அதை கத்து கொடுத்தோம் it is forming and she said that all the powers which parameshwara has given and as balisant manifesting is really amazing and she also told she will she will also take a step and she will connect with swami ji and start manifesting these powers yes very good நித்தியானந்தம் பரமசுகதம் கேவலம் ஞானமூர்த்தம் தந்வாதீதம் ககன சதிரஷம் தத்துவமசியாதிலட்சியம் ஏகம் நித்தியம் விமலமச்சலம் சர்வதீ சாட்சி பூதம் பாவாதீதம் त्रिगुणரஹிதம் சத்குரும் தன்னமாமி Nityanandam, welcome to today's Nityanandam Satsang, the divine enlightening audience with the avatar, His Divine Fullness, Bhagavan Shri Nityanandam Paramashram. Today we are going to be having a very uh, powerful, interesting segment. We, we had told this yesterday, we had announced a word yesterday where all of us together are going to unite and tweet. Put our voices out and tweet. tell the world that hinduism needs to be saved tell the world that we need justice and in most importantly today's segment is where all of us every hindu living in different corners of the world different walks of life we are all going to unite to show our strength to voice out to protect our rights to protect the last lamp of hinduism that is alive so for many of you who are coming in for the first time we welcome all of you all the viewers who are watching us from facebook twitter youtube fa- um, and kailasas ntv kailasas hn tv and kailasa tv and various other social media platforms and also all our kailashians citizens and diplomats of kailasa and all our de facto kailashians who have tuned in via to a video conferencing who have tuned and joined for this segment of today's and for the nityananda satsang sitting across in our global kailasas in nityananda annalayas which provide free organic satvik meals with swamiji's vision of no hungry human and no hungry home and with all the kailashians who are sitting in the nityananda gurukuls worldwide which provide free education to thousands of children globally and Kailasa Sanitya and the Hindu Library, the world's largest Hindu library with the largest collection of palm leaf manuscripts. And Kailasa Sanitya and the Hindu University, the world's largest Hindu University and many more. And in each of these places, all our Kailashians that have, that have tuned in, sitting in all of these places for this important segment of today's, where each of us are going to voice out our pain, what we all went through. and what we all see hinduism is going through to stand as a strength to voice out 
and to show our support to save Hinduism. So let's take a few minutes before we enter into the segment today. Let's watch a small video on who is this Divine Holiness Bhagwan Shmitya Paramashiva. All of you can also start tweeting from now. You can just use the hashtag, hashtag Kailasa votes and hashtag Nityananda. And all of you can start tweeting. So before we enter into the segment, let's watch a small video on who is his divine holiness, Bhagavan Shri Tiyadra I am as, as old as, as sun, sun, as new as sunrise. Incarnations happened, gave a breakthrough to consciousness and gave opening to the next level. My responsibility is to introduce new consciousness which manifests powers of Sadashiva. As Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. I have experienced Sadashiva in his completion and he has empowered me to transmit that experience to all of you. It's my commitment to all of you. I'll make you experience and manifest Sadashivatva, powers and state and space of Sadashiva. When you manifest powers, naturally the state of Sadashiva and space of Sadashiva starts manifesting in you. More power manifestation, more integrity. More unclutching, more nirvigalpa samadhi, more joy, more restful awareness, more responsibilism, more enriching, more bliss. This tradition has a capacity to retain its authenticity and originality. My purpose is to make this statement to the world. Hinduism is real. Ideas move from mind to mind. Energy moves from space to space. Cognitions move from body to body. That is why even Sadashiva needs a body. He assumed the body because he needs body to transmit these cognitions to you. Whatever I am doing is reviving the original science as expressed in Sanatana Hindu Dharma, Vedas and Agamas of the Hindu tradition. Given by Sadashiva, received by Devi, adopted by Vishnu to run this universe is Agama. 
Agamas insists on us serving beyond our frame. Whatever experience, anubhuti I had by my Guru's grace, Atma Pramana, I do acid wash with Shastra Pramana, Apta Pramana, the ancient master's experiences. Whatever finally stand, I share it with the world as Sakshi Pramana. I welcome everyone for the grand feast of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Let us go on contributing, contributing, contributing. Swamiji, today is leading and guiding all of us, the two billion Hindus worldwide, into living a conscious life and having a super conscious breakthrough. But all this at the cost of risking his own life. Tirelessly standing up in spite of so much of attack and persecution. Yes, what we all saw now, we all saw in so many dimensions how Swamiji is reviving Hinduism. Not just reviving Hinduism, but giving it to the humanity for the maximum benefit of the humanity. Be it offering free food, be it offering free education, be it offering everything for free and making it as accessible as possible for people. Whether someone is sitting somewhere in Guadalupe or whether somewhere in in Australia, whether somewhere in the US, everyone gets access to the rarest of uh, scriptures of Hinduism and solutions for their day-to-day -day life in just a few clicks. And for someone who has done all this, dedicating his whole life from the young age of three till now, what did the humanity give him? 500 plus assassination attempts, poisoning, ingesting lethal poisons into his food, looting, swindling all the money that is kept for serving the people, damaging, physically assaulting the monks, Hindu sannyasis who are living with Swamiji to be a part of his mission. Actually, today, that is why we have planned, uh, like all of us is today, we had so many of you who are starting to voice out. And today, already Vinay Kashi, I am seeing, he has already started tweeting. I request everyone to start tweeting. See, in five minutes, if we are able to make 500, if just 500 of us are able to tweet, all, we have a huge, the devotee base of Swamiji is huge. So just in 500 of us start tweeting this, it will reach to the world. Understand, world needs to know. For those of you who are watching it for the first time, I just wanted to sum it up. Like, what are we talking about? Yesterday we had like, spoken a lot about this in detail. We have been from the age of 14, for me, from the age of 12 for her, we have been living the lifestyle of a monk. Like we have started 
we took up this lifestyle we first entered the gurukul started getting trained in the nityananda gurukul and we had decided to dedicate our lives for being a part of swamiji's mission which is reviving the great enlightened civilization in the form of kailasa which is reviving sanatana hindu dharma so we had dedicated our life for that we started we have been living a celibate monks and our whole life we eat the foods that we eat the lifestyle that we live the rituals that we practice everything is just for that for the past one year our life has now been become in a standstill mode actually the strength with which we are able to talk to all of you now communicate with all of you now even share what we are going through with all of you is only because of the powerful cognitions that swamiji is giving every day in the satsang otherwise we have been actually for all of you just experience quarantine for a limited time where you were still having touch with the society where you were able to still contact people via phone via social media where you had all these access how difficult it was for you we have been in quarantine for more than a year not just a quarantine as a home quarantine but we have been quarantined even socially we are we except for coming and sharing with all of you like this Right. there is there's absolutely no other interaction except for we talking with each other minimum times where we get a chance like once in a while to come and maybe interact with some program participants except for that we have absolutely no access to anyone because our lives are under threat by our purvashram abuser father kulnari janardan the man who is supposed to be a father is supposed to be taking care and making sure that the daughters are protected and making sure that children are brought up safely and that is what all of you will visualize when we tell our purvashram father please understand this man this kulnari janardan is in the name of wanting us as he is projecting in the media he has put our lives in risk he has looted crores of rupees hundreds and thousands of dollars actually i'm saying so many when all of and... these crimes are caught when we found out and when we got the evidence of all that he was doing when he when we questioned him and many other crimes that he has done the moment he knew that we are starting to voice out he threatened us blackmailed us forced us and is still threatening us to file a false rape charge against swamiji and i just want to tell all of you he even published a video of mine he edited a video of mine telling that's the last video that i'm going to be making publish it all over the media telling that my life is under threat and my life is actually under threat because of him kullari janardan he instead made it a sound like as if swamji is going to do something and it, it it was like a whole the entire nation they are not listening to my videos they are my, what i am trying to do from my channel and tell the world what is happening that is completely silenced by that whole anti hindu group mafia gang they going and starting to even now when i just remember it i feel so pain inside because he faked a video of mine and published it all over the media telling that i am going to be killed because he had actually planned to kill me but he wanted to put that blame on swamiji with swamiji's grace i am alive today because what threat the life threat that my ab purvashram abuser father kulnari janardan is trying to give me and trying to use us to be as weapons to attack swamiji to attack hinduism he has actually successfully stopped us from doing anything that we want to do in our lives i really request all of you to see your each of your lives 
for example, we we have been in many situations like this where I, I, I know like there was a girl who had escaped from Saudi Arabia and who wanted protection. And when they when she was cheated, like her passport was taken away and she was in she was literally stranded. It was people's voices that had actually saved her. Because everyone spread the awareness on Twitter. People started using the hashtag like save Rachel and that's the way we saved her. Same way I really know that there are people who are having the ability to save us from the situation. We really, really request all of your help. I'm saying now continuously, so many of you have already started tweeting. A lot of tweets have come. Vinay Kashiya, Mareda, okay. Mareda, okay. You're, I'm just going to be reading out the tweets also. Like, I wish this saga will end soon and you'll be able to live your lives the way you want. It will be great if with Swamiji's blessings, you arrange a meeting with your parents to solve the problem and start your new lives. Uh, Mareda, Actually, okay, this- just... I just wanted to tell one important thing to everyone. This is not just a problem between three of us where one man in the name of uh, a father, he is fighting to take us. No, this is the Hindu Holocaust at large. This is an attack on Hinduism at large. It is not a small family a fight and that we are trying to uh, take all of your time to solve it here in this platform. No, please understand this has been going on for so many years, so many people, so many ways using the different, different tactics, trying to attack and stop Swamiji's mission. Anyone who stands up for Hinduism, who voices out for Hinduism is attacked silenced, murdered, and made sure that never again anyone else has the courage to stand up in that same level. All of you can see, not any Hindu leader that you take, whoever stood strongly voicing out for Sanatana Hindu Dharma is silenced and arrested in prison. And every time somewhere, someone will just make a, spin a new story. And many times, young girls are used as a weapon to attack those masters. They are lying using our names. People spin their own stories and then they attack the masters, arrest them, imprison them. And unfortunately, many times in the past have been, these masters have been murdered in the prison. And this is not a family fight. This is not where one uh, between uh, the family, there is some misunderstanding and we are coming and fighting out in the public. No, we are threatened. We are being continuously, they are using us against Swamiji, trying to stop the mission because Swamiji is the only voice of Hinduism who has taken, in spite of all the attacks, who has risked his own life to protect Sanatana Hindu Dharma. And to serve the humanity. Actually, I just want to see like there are so many of you, like I'm seeing some of you are continuously tweeting. I just wanted to announce the names. Uh, Vinay Kashiya, uh, Reda OK, Ma Vanaja Kaza, Ma Rupa, Ditsaya, Nikhil B. Pote. You all have been really, really, this is amazing. The speed in which, in which uh, all of you are tweeting, it's really amazing. Uh, Mandar Valimbeya. So many of your support is there. That feels amazing. Some of you are even asking. I just wanted to say one. I just want to clarify one thing. This, um, going, trying to go back to the going and solving it with father is some of your suggestions. I just wanted to tell all of you. He was very clear when in his affidavit he has given. He doesn't want us alive, but he wants our dead bodies. He says in his in his affidavit, he says that either get them dead or alive. If a man is interested really in saving someone, he will not mention, oh, you can get them as dead bodies. So the main motive for him is to somehow kill us and put the blame on Swamiji. If we that is why we are still not able to even go back to our home country, which is India. We are not able to go back there is mainly because the whole, that family, my Purvashram family is posing a life threat on me. I'm, if I, that is why he was able to edit a video 
and release it on the media, national media channels. It was all over the media. People were calling me and I was getting cyber bullied and telling a lot of people, telling me that oh, you're not fit to live, yes, you better die. Many people, I, had, I, was lit I was cyber bullied because of this false video that my Purvashram abuser father, Kulnari had created. Kulnari all, Janardhan, he had abused us and on all over the media. I'm still saying And you all need to know, it is not just this. I would really like to reiterate again and again. Please understand, this is not a fight where suddenly he goes out in the media and says, no, I need my daughters now. And he's starting to do all this drama. No, for so many years, he has done so many crimes. Many of which I am not yet. I have not yet told, but but many of which we have evidences, which we are the living evidences for. And he has done so much of financial embezzlement, fraudulence, and a lot of them. When all of this are coming out, and when he got caught, he just turned against. And so many years he has been doing this crime. It is not overnight. This is not a fight between. As you all think, it's not a fight between a father and a daughter. No. At the cost of our lives, risking our lives, continuously, we are trying to come out, tell the world that we are not kidnapped. And again and again, in the media, he goes on using our images and claiming that we are kidnapped on one side. On the other side, calling us prostitutes and do, damaging our whole future, our life, everything, just to use us to attack Swamiji. Please understand, this is not a family fight. This is where we are being used to attack. Using us, he is attacking Swamiji. He is the mastermind. There's a whole gang with him. A huge political clout. Marreda okay, is also asking, I think your father's greed blinded him temporarily. But after all, he is your father. You should keep your door open for reconciliation. Yes, Marreda okay, I'll actually explain this to you. So this has been going on for a year. And first, first thing, when you say he is your father, I do understand coming from an Indian background, it is always like Indian, India has this thing where all of us are a happy family. Family culture is well respected and, you know, the fathers are very nice. This is a common understanding. But I, unfortunately, maybe I wasn't fortunate enough to have a father like that. Because what he did was, he used to be extremely abusive even when I was outside. He is, there are instances where he has bet me so hard that I got a spine injury. There's even an x-ray proof of it. I got a spine injury here, just over here, because my Purvashram abuser father, he had bet me, not for anything of mine. He didn't beat me because I did some mistake. He bet me because he had a fight with his wife. And he had affairs with so many women. Despite of having four children, he had a lot of affairs which used to psychologically affect me a lot. I used to be sick. I used to be depressed. I used to, you would not see me being this happy or like this strong if you would have just met me before joining Gurukul because I was totally broken inside because I did not have a father who was a proper father. He was more of an abuser, very aggressive. He hadn't even see a father would be living with you, right? For he left the home and lived for almost three years. He lived with his affair, not with us. So it's not that he's our father. Oh, and he would be okay. And we did try for a reconciliation. We did tell him, see, whatever you did, you did. But just Tell us, like, come face to face in just one thing. Give us the affidavit. Tell us clearly, you will not kill us. He wasn't ready to do that. We only asked if we have to come and appear on the court and just, like, solve this. Just give us a clear, in writing, that you wouldn't kill us. Or you would not use us against Swamiji. Because his whole motto, mainly his whole, this thing, uh, that is why I want 
wanted to um, reiterate that it is not a family fight. It is not a, a misunderstanding or a mishap between the uh, parents and children. No, please understand this is a larger conspiracy. He is, we are not just talking about him. Oh, he didn't take care of us. He didn't do this to us. He didn't do that to us. No. There are so many evidences which, if I tell here now, would be more of it, it, for my own safety, for our life. We I don't want to tell it right now here, but there are so many crimes that he has committed, fearing which will get revealed. He's trying to threaten us to get us back. In the media in the international channel he is clearly told that if we come back if you don't listen to him he is going to dump us in the mental asylum what? there are so many threats that he has been continuously posing on us our lives continuously this whole thing is an attack on swamiji understand you all can go back each of you who have doubts questions please go back and google you all can visit nityanandatruth.org. You all will understand that this whole thing is a persecution, a holocaust on Hinduism. You all can, you all can just Google and see how in the last just few hundred, uh, around the last 60 or 100 years, how many Hindu gurus, anyone who tries to stand up for Hinduism is attacked physically, abused murdered and if they are of too high and difficult to reach they use women as a weapon to spin false stories destroy the life and murder that guru so many examples of that each of you who are watching this will know you all can google and many people who are from india growing up you all would have read so much of news Saying, oh, this master is like this. This master has attacked. That master has attacked. This master has uh, died in the jail. We all are made blind to the truth. And because Swamiji risking his life is voicing out about the Hindu Holocaust, the untold story, his life is being continuously attacked with people trying to assassinate him. of your voices right now all those people who are watching what i'm still saying i'm seeing so many of you are telling so many things and supporting it also requires a lot more people to join this this whole twitter like and it's not even a campaign but all of us voicing out on Twitter right now. I really, really request all of you to do it. Like go right now on Twitter and tweet and register your voice. When a lot of people, actually some people, like for example, Nikilaya, Mareda, Mandar Valimbiaya, Ditsaya, like this, we have so many people who are continuously tweeting. So that that is one side, but we also need more of you to voice out, to put to register your voices, what you feel about this. Mareda, that's perfectly fine. You should, you're telling that you did not know the details of the story. That's fine. Because unfortunately, that's the state we are in. How many of our times we are trying to tell it is, the media is not picking up our storyline at all. It is only, it takes, like for example, this video, they'll take a screenshot of this video, put it in the newspaper and tell these two girls who are kidnapped and not carry even a little message of what we are telling in their media channel, in their article, in their narrative. The main problem here is without us realizing they, the anti-Hindu elements are successful in silencing the Hindu monks, in destroying the Hindu monks. It is really, really high time that we all Hindus together voice out. I'm really telling if you just tell your friends, tell everyone, tell a, each person whom you know, even you just go share this video to them. Even if you feel like you, you're not able to explain to them, you just go and share this video to them. Let them watch this because we need more voices. We need justice. We have been like this. If this continues, I just want to, I don't want to tell this, but I, 
if this continues almost a year now we have been running for our lives we are not able to come out in public we are not able to do anything there is a huge chance that kulnari janardan our purvashram abuser father will kill both of us and put the blame on swami ji it is in that high level even the covid even all this happening it did not stop him from attacking us so really this is we plead all of you to help us out we want to stay alive we want to dedicate our life for hinduism but it's gone too far it's one year now and there and the whole in this whole one year so many videos like you told so many times all the videos we made everywhere we were even though we were continuously being threatened we received death threats on social media we tried reaching out to the people to the media to everyone to tell our side the irony here is in this whole attack they use us we are the subject that kulnari janardan whom you all are thinking is or trying to take us no he is using us as a subject putting our images all over in the media everywhere and saying that we are prostitutes and calling us all sorts of names and he is taking us uh, using us and attacking swami ji attacking the mission unfortunately here whom he is claiming the subject that we are we are unable to tell our voice he is saying we are kidnapped we are saying we are not kidnapped but he, that is not going out to the people we are saying we are, we are safe and happy we gave so many evidences even we told the locations that we are staying we told everything still we are no, our voices are not heard They and were, continuously we are the, the, that's the whole irony that we are the subject of this whole case we are saying no we are not the victims we are not we are completely happy and safe but continuously using us and attacking because of that kulnari janardan and using us our own guru behens were arrested Remember, the monks were arrested and tortured remember like when even when we are trying to go from when when we are trying to travel in so many airports we are being stopped because of this what this kulnari janardan has done the political influence the whole political influence that he has the contacts that he has he was able to track wherever we went and so much of life threat was directly coming to us and this and all of you need to know this is not many of viewers who are watching for the first time please understand this is not a show where we are coming and sharing oh these are all the family problems that we have we need help we want to solve it no this is an conspiracy a conspiracy against swami ji who is a supreme pontiff of hinduism a conspiracy against someone who dedicated his whole life for serving the humanity a conspiracy against the last hope of hinduism the only lamp of hinduism that is alive this is a larger conspiracy if you all just drop the idea that we are some a uh, family in some family problem and taking all of it i know many devotees are hurt say, thinking oh god why these two girls are not going back home because of them swami ji is facing so much please understand if at all you all just ignore thinking this is a family fight then using us even like he blackmailed on the live national tv that he'll put us in mental asylum he will go to any extreme to use our names to attack swami ji let's get that janardan arrested let's get him arrested that would be that would be a nice lesson for every anti hindu element out there see there are all the anti hindu elements are able to successfully get through this because we don't have enough voices telling they have to get arrested we all saw a palgar mob lynching where an entire crowd was gathered so no single person can be pointed out a whole big mob which we have a video record where a sadhu a monk is being beaten to death 
he planned the same thing he wanted us to come to india and wanted us to be mob lynched this was janardan's plan actually many things there are so many more painful things which i have not told still because fearing for my life because already to whatever i have told whatever things i have shared with all of you we have gone through enough and still the threats haven't stopped from kulnari janardan it's too and much. what happened what was all the result of all of this many of many of you will may think oh, no this is just a small thing no understand two monks were arrested suffered in the prison the whole hundreds of women sanyasis were made homeless overnight chased out of their campus many of them were abused and many children were tortured and harassed they were shown wrong content from the people from the government who were people from the government who were supposed to in the name of raiding who came into the campus there were thugs rowdies who entered the campus and the whole building was destroyed bought into the grounds please understand this is not a mere family fight where some father is trying to fight against his daughters no this whole thing is a planned conspiracy attack on swami ji using us each of you that are watching this many of you might have questions many of you might have your opinions and views but it is time that we all voice out please go ahead to twitter use hashtag #nityananda hashtag #kailasavots to show your support and to voice out for hinduism i'm seeing many more people are tweeting ma caroli ru is tweeting raise your voice justice for hinduism how this world can let this untold story happen i do not want to be a part of this world and any supporting body where hindus gurus and monks are being persecuted thank you so much see today we were able to actually today's uh, the number like there are few people who did a large number of tweets this is good but we need everybody to watch so see this is the rate in 5 minutes we should be able to reach 500 tweets only then our voices are going to be heard otherwise people like for example people use any hashtag and abuse swamiji they are just like that able to do it because already the minds are filled with the wrong narrative many people still believe that we are kidnapped many people still believe that we both are being attacked by swamiji is there a, isn't there a limit we are alive itself is because of swamiji not just that many people i really think today all of you need to take time to understand hinduism and the attack the hindu genocide that's happening at large please wake up we are not here trying to drag a family fight private fight into a public on the roads and disturb all of your lives no we are here trying our best to make you all understand yes swami ji in spite of all these attacks he's giving so much continuously coming sitting for the satsangs yes swami ji even in that like swami ji was sharing in one of the satsang even just participants should not get hurt while jumping or moving so even on the walls he will put matches so even in this time to not let people suffer seeing swami ji is suffering swami ji is continuously coming for the satsang everything out of his compassion but understand these anti hindu anti guru elements are active they are taking advantage of our inactivism they are using what we all thought was just some story 100 years ago where some invaders used the divide and rule policy and we left it no still that same strategy is being used now not in hinduism at large because we have become aware of that but now separating isolating each master each pillars of hinduism separately and attacking them making them demonizing them in front of the public and make us believe that we are all doing the right thing by attacking them please wake up all of you please understand you all can google and see every sanyasi every hindu guru are being some young women are being used just to in some name just to create some false stories and you still know many of the women who are used you will not find them alive just after the short time after that master is finished he is murdered those women will also be finished and closed and silenced because that understand they know the truth 
is there like when they're falsely uh, framing a Hindu guru, the women that they're using, they know that that woman also has the power to voice out. So as soon as that the guru is finished, they kill these people. That's the exact plan that Kulnari Janardhan, unfortunately, our own Purvashram father, abuser father, he also planned the same thing to use us against Swamiji. I'm seeing more tweets. Neerajananda has tweeted, I have lived personally in Nityananda Gurukul with my Guru Behans who are being attacked. I stand for their integrity and had a hour long conversation almost a year ago with Janardhan and listened and recorded his lies. That's that's amazing that you recorded his lies. Please do. Uh, 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 this is personally for uh, Neerajananda. I know you like you even have a lot of views on YouTube. You can even start tomorrow. I, I think tomorrow at the same time. I think it's taking more segments to do this because we need to trend this. Only then the world is going to realize it. So let's tomorrow you can maybe today you can just make a video and get all your people, all, all the viewers that whom you know, your friends, your family, get everyone tomorrow sharp at 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Please, you can just set a reminder or something. Let's all gather together and do this one thing. Like today, so, so many of you are already Actually, prepared with tweets. Where So all of us together can gather on Twitter. Like you all can come start watching the live. We will announce and we will tell more details. So you have content so you can go all out and tweet. We really need more of your support. Now, I'm so happy seeing that today's tweets were like continuous and so many yes, people we have tweeted. so many people, but unfortunately, this is not enough. Yes, I absolutely thank each of you who have tweeted, but please understand we need more people. The rate at which these anti-Hindu, anti-Guru elements are attacking, they have conspired, they have planned, they have clearly organized and they're spreading the lies much more faster but here the truth is being silenced please get your friends your family members who you feel will voice out reach out to people tomorrow we need to aim to have at least 500 tweets minimum in five minutes today we have so many tweets but we are unfortunately not yet achieved the goal of 500 tweets in five minutes we request all the Adinavasis, all the Kailashians, all the devotees and everyone who is watching this, all the viewers, let us really wake up. This is a time we need to take responsibility to stop this Hindu holocaust. Actually, Before the so. last lamp of Hinduism is also finished, then there is no future for humanity. There is no future for Hinduism. Please understand and wake up to that and let us all voice out. Actually, tomorrow we will tell more details of this persecution. We will tell the narrative of this persecution, even if you think somebody who does not know about this, somebody uh, doesn't like even some maybe the people whom you have interacted with earlier, you think they don't know about this, they haven't heard about this before, or they have their own questions, doubts whatever it may be. You can get all of them tomorrow for the segment, 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. It will be live on all the channels that you're watching us right now in. It will be live on YouTube. It will be live on Facebook. It will be live on Twitter. So all of you can come and join us tomorrow at the same time, 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So we can do this whole Twitter campaign and tomorrow I'll announce the hashtags. Uh, we are also going to have extra hashtags tomorrow. I'll announce it. Now with this, it's time we enter into the meditation, preparing ourselves to receive Swamiji. Please sit with your head, neck and spine in a straight line. We're going to be having the live darshan of Swamiji today. So let's prepare ourselves for it. Sit with your head, neck and spine in a straight line. Close your eyes. Start chanting the Mahavakya. Om Nityananda Paramashivoha. Om Nityananda Paramashivoha. Om Nityananda Paramashivoha. Om 
ನಿತ್ಯಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಮಹಾಸದಾಶಿವ ಓ ನಿತ್ಯಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ 